Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Wilds. In today's episode, we're gonna be exploring the region here and we're gonna be working on a new project that I thought of. I thought it would be super cool if we like, if you notice, we have a beautiful like village going on here, but I noticed something like, what are we gonna eat? We do have like this field here growing um, and then we also have like these berries here, but I think it would be really, really cool if we had our own farmland. So in today's episode of Pokemon wilds we're going to become a farmer so with that being said if you guys do want to watch my previous pokemon wilds videos make sure you click up there or the link in the description down below to find the playlist where you guys can actually watch every single episode where i make this entire village and start from scratch all right so i guess the first step of making an amazing place like this is going to find out exactly where we're going to do it i guess let's take a look at the map really quick i did have the area to the north cleared out which i'm still working on for a special project that i mentioned in my previous video so you guys guys hold off on that one it's coming soon but I guess um, probably somewhere over on that left side where we are building that's probably where the farm is gonna go potentially here on the bottom left side so um, no I do not want to teleport there right now all right so um, I guess let's head on over here. This area would definitely be some nice farm. What Pokemon do we have with us right now? We definitely have all of our good Pokemon. So Breloom is going to lend us a hand today. All right, Breloom, let's see what you got, my dude. Um, I guess what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clearing out all of this land here. Me and Breloom just chilling out, clearing out some land. And I guess once we finish doing this right here, uh, we will we will see. We'll come back to you guys and we'll tell you what is going on. I do want to make this look really good. So yeah, this is going to be the farmland. We've got to make enough area where we can plant enough crops so we can feed the entire town. Right now, we're preparing this area for NPCs. I'm hoping that one day we can add NPCs to the game. And I want to have it where these guys will have somewhere to live when they get here. You know, you can't just have people come and then hopefully build their own village. So we got to build a village for them and get everything ready for these guys. All right, we've got a pretty good area here cleared out. Um, I might clear it out a little bit further to the south, but we'll see as we start developing this place. So the first thing that I want to do is make sure that um, we kind of like till the land, get the soil right, because basically different kinds of berries spawn on different types of uh, tile sets and soil, which you guys will notice. So if you look up there to the top right, that berry um, is different than the berry that's going to be spawning in the forest or not in the forest but in the, the town over here we have some we have some berries in the town here but we've also got these berries over here and you'll notice they're actually on a snow tile so we actually got to go travel and find some tiles that we want to put some stuff on to get specific berry types so what we're going to be doing now is we're actually going to get on Mewtwo and we are going to fly over to some areas and we're going to find ourselves some good old berries so I'm not sure which berries spawn on which soil types so we're just going to get a little bit of everything here um, I guess we're gonna get a little bit of sand while we're at it um, we did bring Rhyperior with us so Rhyperior can uh, do we bring Rhyperior yeah we did okay Rhyperior can I didn't mean to put a smash um, but anyways Rhyperior can actually dig up the ground here and get the tiles that we need to use if you notice that some of my tiles are not matching the other tiles I get this kind of off at like this rock over here it's because I'm using a custom tile set and it's not completely uh, finished yet so once it gets finished it will be ready to go but I'd say we're gonna get about uh, maybe 10 20 of these tiles I think that'd be good all right this is the dry sand tiles all right let's move on to the next area <clears throat> I like to fly on Charizard at night time because Charizard is literally just like he's basically a light source that flies so like you you can't not have that right all right I guess the next a thing we're gonna get here is a little bit of snow and then I guess we'll also get some of this ash and stuff over here uh, yeah we'll get that there's a village here too um, so let's just go ahead harvest some of the snow and then we'll harvest a little bit from that ash place uh, I want to try to get it far away from the village a little bit, but I'll get some of this snow and then I'll be meet back with you guys at the village over there. I'm going to get some of this light clay here. I found this in the mountain area over here. I don't know if any different berries um, like spawn on this, um, but yeah, I will try to plant berries on different things and see what works. All right, let's land here. And this was a good spot for us to actually dig and see if we can get ourselves a good old, um, well, I guess whatever this tile set is. I'm not even sure what this tile set's called. There's actually an item here. What can we get from that? We found a fire stick. 
stone. Nice. I guess this is hard stone. I don't know. Whatever we're doing, we're actually increasing the lava flow. So that's probably not a good thing. All right. That should be enough of that. Um, let's get on Dragon Eye. Now we've flown every single Pokemon we have on our team so far. Um, are there any other soil types that we might want to check out? Um, potentially, actually, I think if we can get some sand from the beach, I think that actually spawns like different types of berries too. Um, let's see down here what we got. Yeah, I'll just take some of the sand here. I think this could be good. Yep. All right. I'm gonna get some of the sand and then I think I know one more place where we can get some different soil for us to use. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and go over to the next place. So the last thing that I was thinking that we could uh, get is gonna be uh, the like the cemetery area. I think you can get different berries to spawn on that grass. Um, so yeah, there's some berries there. That's just normal berries. I haven't really seen too many like different variations of berries in the game to be honest. I do love this new texture pack. The dude who made this did an amazing job. It just looks so good and like so much more full of life than the original um you guys should definitely check that dude out on twitter not twitter but on in the discord if you haven't already all right let's land here um yeah we're definitely gonna dig here it looks like i've already dug here quite a bit but you know what we're gonna take the rest of this stuff i just noticed there's a, there's a spirit tomb rock in the graveyard here i could definitely check that out and potentially get a spirit tomb. all right that should be enough let's head back now and see uh what kind of berries we can grow i'm not sure how fast they grow or how many cycles it takes before they fully develop uh oh maybe there is yes so the savannah looks like it has different berry types here all right we'll get some of this uh this grass here and we'll also plant some of this stuff too we're gonna have so many different berry types guys all right we got quite a bit of stuff i think it's time for us to head on back home now and see what we can get nothing like home sweet home and ever since the last episode we modified this village it just looks so amazing and actually like full of life now um we're gonna wait until daytime and then we're gonna head over there and start planting our berries and stuff and i even got a new thing i want to plant that i've actually read the comments about so whoever commented about planting apricorns thank you i'm gonna try that this episode all right time to get to work on the farm we are here and we are ready to get this started i guess the first thing to do is to get rhyperia to work and start digging away at uh tilling up the land and getting it nice and fertile for all of the new berries we got going on all right i think i'm gonna do a, f a two by four area um for each different type of berry um that way we can have like a i want it to be nice and symmetric and i'm trying to remember how many soil types we we had but i don't think it was too many different ones we'll see what we got here i'm just gonna plant these really quick did not mean to do that but i guess that one is going to be the uh the sand one i've always had a thing for farming games and i've recently been playing stardew valley with my wife so i'm excited like i just i just had this idea and i thought it'd be fun to do farming would be something fun to add like more in depth uh to this game so i hope the developer maybe gets an idea from this that'd be really cool maybe add skills in the game that'd be really cool for your trainer all right this looks like a pretty good start to a farm let's go ahead and start filling in the different areas here this is going to be the sand area i guess this one will be the savannah area and we'll put the cursed one over in the top right here um i'm excited to see what berries are planted in this area ash and soil in this one i heard ash is actually good at um making the soil uh more fertile i don't I actually know if that's true or not here we go this is where we're gonna put the snow area and then i also got the clay um i don't know if this actually you can actually plant stuff here but i did get those tiles and i did want to see um maybe if that plants in the different but i guess uh let's go ahead and and see what we can plant now um all right i think i gotta go to my trainer now so if i go to my trainer and let's see if i can go to my items really quick where are my stuff at forgot how to plant stuff let me look this up really quick oh berry seeds they can be planted to grow berries i think i don't have that many berries um i have to go actually cut down some berry trees to get berries but if i take a berry seed and use press z to plant seeds so okay so this is what you do here all right so we can plant different stuff i'll plant the savannah ones first uh, i think i only have five seeds and yep we're out of seeds so um i guess the next step is to go out and find uh some berry trees i guess we can actually cut down the ones in our now nah, we'll leave those in the, in the village for now um but what we can do is we can actually go out and find some stuff to cut down in the woods that we don't use or we don't we're not near and that should be good for us to, to take some seeds from or maybe we can travel to another region and definitely take all their seeds i just want to find a bunch of trees together there's no point in really landing for just one tree we might have to do that at some point though if we can't find enough seeds all right there we go we got two berry seeds from that tree it looks like we get two berry um seeds per tree all right that's pretty good that means three trees will give us enough for well, actually four trees will give us enough for the whole patch um i'm missing three on that one patch so i have to get a lot of berries the hunt for berries continues we've only found five plants so far sometimes you can find like huge like 
groves of them just chilling out. All right, here it looks like this is actually five plants. That's gonna be 10 berry seeds. That's nice. Okay, the ghost is coming to us, but doesn't the light kill it? Exactly. Get out of here, ghost. Get out of here. Ghosts are stupid in this game. Breloom is always putting in work. Breloom's put in more work than any Pokemon in this entire game so far, probably. All right, right now we got 26 berry seeds. Let me do a little bit of math and think about how many we need for the thing. All right, so I had five things that is eight in each one. Five times eight is 40 plus three, so I need 43 seeds. Um, we got 26, so we're already halfway. Um, shouldn't be too hard to find a few trees. This is just like a couple trees there. And then we can head back to the village and plant these bad boys. Oh, there we go. That's that's the berries that are planted in the ashen area. We're not the ashen area, but the ghost area. That's good to know kind of what they're going to look like. Oh, there's a bunch of berries here at the snow village. Okay. All right, I found the last few berries here. Uh, I think this should be the last ones I need to get. Once I get these right here, um, we can head back to the village and start planting our little garden dude i'm excited i'm super excited for this i want to see like all the different berries we can get in the game they, they're going to be very helpful in the future i guarantee we really need to give breloom like his own little area uh maybe he can stay in the area and just like guard the garden once it's finished because like he's worked so much we need to give this dude a break he's been so good he builds he cuts he's like the perfect pokemon for pokemon wild surviving uh, i literally can't get any better than this dude all right back at the village looks like the berry trees are in the savannah are nearly completed uh, um, let me go ahead and get the berries out real quick. We got 50 seeds to plant, dude. That is a lot of seeds. So each one of these is going to be a unique and awesome little little plant. We are nearly done planting all these. It's starting to get nighttime. No, I'll have to put some torches over here just so that ghosts don't come over here. Can I plant it on the clay? No, you can't plant it on the clay. I might have to put regular grass here and just plant a patch of regular seeds. All right, we had a ghost Pokemon. All right, I got an idea to get rid of the ghost Pokemon. All we gotta do is make Charizard follow us. That's literally all we gotta do. Watch this. Boom, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna do, maybe we're gonna see if we can place down some other tile sets, and maybe we can plant some seeds on those. We'll see though. Oh no, we're like we're like in seed mode the same time that we're in build mode, so we gotta get out of both of those, I guess. All right, back in the build mode or whatever dig mode. All right, let's see what tiles we got. Um, we didn't try desert. We tried sand. We got forest. We've got what else? We got we got ledge. We can't do ledge. We already did savanna, cursed flowers, and just regular grass. I guess we can plant on all of these potentially. Um, I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna try to see first if I can plant on the desert. If I can plant on the desert, then that's gonna be we're gonna change them all back to desert. But I don't think we can plant on the desert. I actually planted one. Wait. Oh, we can plant on the desert. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, just make this whole thing a desert area then. Oh no, can I not get rid of this? I gotta wait until this is a full grown tree before I can cut it down. That sucks, dude. That is awful. Oh, never mind. All right, let's do it. Thank God. All right, let's make this whole area a desert area. I wonder if it's gonna give us the same uh, seeds as the sand one or not. We'll see though. In the inventory looking, but literally all the trees have grown since I looked a few seconds ago. But look at that. What is the purple one, dude? The one in the ashen area? That looks insane. Soon we will have some desert plants to go with everything else that is growing here. That looks, that looks awesome. Did I actually run out of berry seeds? No, there's no way. I had enough berry seeds, did I not? All right, um, let's go get a few more. I'll be right back. All right, I got 16 berry seeds. This should be enough here to actually um, to plant all these. I'm excited to see what comes from the desert, though. I'm going to say that's the same as the, the, the sand one, but we'll see. All right. all right, I guess now we just give it some time. Oh, yeah, there's one last thing I wanted to see. I want to see if I could plant those apricorns. That's what I was going to see. Keep accidentally planting stuff. All right, apricorns. Uh, I'm not really sure which ones I need the most. I don't think you can actually does it give you that exact apricorn i want to figure out which apricorn i need the most so let me figure out which one makes the best pokeballs and then i'll be right back all right maybe this is another way to look at it maybe we see which one of these balls we need to create the special balls in here and then we can determine which uh type we want to make all right if we check the kiln here we have dust balls ultra balls probably dust balls and then quick balls so fast balls for those and then dust balls need moon balls so um let's go see if we can plant whatever we need for moon and dusk ball or moon and fastballs yeah so fastballs use white and moon balls use yellow so white and yellow apricorns are the ones we want to plant the most here uh, i'm not sure i think someone said in the comments down below it doesn't matter what color you plant it's just random so we have 14 yellow here that is enough to plant a few of these bad boys um so yeah we'll plant some apricorns here i, I didn't even know you could plant because i think you should be able to see like wild apricorns growing in this game but apparently you don't all right was it white apricorns do i even have any yes i do have apricorns here all right white apricorns we'll plant those really quick and then that should be everything that we want to plant in our garden right all right another day cycle is coming through here um i guess 
we are done planting for now everything is looking amazing um so yeah let's uh let's get this going i'm gonna step away from a little bit and then i'll come back i guess we're gonna have the plants a few cycles to grow here there's a ghost chasing me i'll just run into my house really quick or over to the village the ghost cannot follow us into the village yeah ghost take that take that um i'm actually gonna go into Berlum and we're gonna build a few torches honestly because I, I hate the ghost so much all right we got some torches now let's put these things down Ooh, we can put them on the 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 little thing here on the the gate that's nice can we not put them on the ground here i guess we can't put them on the ground here which kind of sucks i have to build a part of a fence then put them on the fence Ooh, i just noticed that half these trees have berries on them and the desert one is actually different it's like little barrels dude and look at the apricorn trees i did not mean to do that but i did get two white apricorns from that i'm gonna plant that back right there so there we go that's that's pretty nice are these ready to harvest these are not ready to harvest. All right, let's see like the different berries that we get from each thing. And actually, I'm gonna wait for the, all this to grow. Once all this is finished growing, we'll be right back. So I'll see you guys then. Honestly though, my village, um, what would you guys rate this village out of from one to 10? Do you guys think this is a good looking Pokemon village or you think it's just like a pretty average? Like, what do you guys think I should do to change this? Uh, I'll put this grass here in God mode and I think it doesn't actually spawn wild Pokemon, which is fine with me. It looks kind of cool. It's like a wheat field. So I do like that a lot. We also have kind of a farm over here but this is like a different kind of farm this is like a uh, like a pokemon ranch like a mary looks like it's holding something this is where we get our our soft wool we gotta have places to get we have to have animal farm which is like over here i guess and then we also have like our fruits vegetables berries like whatever people eat in the pokemon world uh, but these guys give us magnets and other stuff which is pretty cool all right looks like all of our berries have grown it is time to to check our bounty so i don't think you can actually harvest these like a normal way i think you have to cut them down and then they give you certain berries depending on like i think it's just random uh, we'll actually go ahead and check to see what kind of apricorns we can get from each one we did plant white and yellow specifically but I think it just gives you randomly any one. Yeah, we got blue there white yep it's just it just gives you literally random apricorns but i think it gives you more than the average tree because you're guaranteed to get two no matter what um so if you're trying to make pokeballs this is a great way to do it my guys and it only takes just a few days to actually plant these and you're going to double your apricorns every single time but with that being said let's actually check out our other berries and see what kind of stuff we've planted i'm not entirely sure what all these berries are but let's go ahead and give them a check out so the first berries here are from the snow region that is the asper berries we're going to have a berry from each region in this garden these are the roast berries so these ones are heal you from freezing the ones in desert heal you from burning um the pekka pekka berries pecha pecha how do you pronounce that they're from the beach area and they prevent poisoning we've got lum berries um from the the volcano area which literally heal everything um then we've got cherry berries which heal paralysis and then we've got chesto berries which heal sleep um i'm not sure if these are all the berries in the game um if you guys do know of any other like tile sets that can farm different types of berries besides these six um, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below but with that being said that is going to be it for today's video if you guys did like this one be sure to subscribe leave a like uh, leave a comment down below let me know what other stuff you guys want to see me do in pokemon wilds because i do enjoy just going around playing building doing different stuff role playing out scenarios but with that being said that is the end of today's video leave a like subscribe comment down below and as always God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.